What's up guys? Welcome back to Go Ham Disc Golf. I'm Big John. Uh, this is going to be another review video. I haven't done one in a while and uh, I, I want to get back into doing reviews. I've got a bunch I need to bang out. So uh, look forward to more reviews coming, you know, daily. Um, one thing I'll mention is that my rating system that I've been using with the 10 different categories and, you know, the ultimate, uh, you know, the total being 100 points that it just can get, uh, I think that was too complicated. Um, I'm not saying that you know, you know that you guys, the viewers, weren't understanding what was going on, but I think I was just overcomplicating it, and that wasn't working for me. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just go to like a five-star system and just make it a lot simpler, and I think that'll just make the reviews a lot easier to understand, and I'll be able to get my point across a lot better. So this is going to be the review for the Discraft Soft Magnet. It's a putter if you didn't know that soft magnets and magnets were putters. Um, I carry four of them and the reason for that is that I have one max weight. It's a, well I don't know if it's max weight or not but it's about 178. I think they go all the way up to 180, 182. But it's 178 and it's fairly beat. Um, I'd say it's probably about a 6 or a 7 out of 10 but it's got some, it's got some good wear on it and I have this one in my bag just for overstable shots. For hooking to the left shots right around 40 to 50 feet. Um, I mainly use this guy for like jump putts, but that's all I really use it for. And then I carry three soft magnets and you'll notice that these are all brand new. I carry three soft magnets at 168 and the reason they're all new is because I only really like the, w the way they fly when they're new. Once they start to get beaten at all then they don't fly the way I like them to. And these are my inside the circle putts putters um, anything that's 40 feet or less I'll go to these guys once I get outside of that they get really understable and they can be really flippy so that's why I stick with the heavier beat-in magnet for those shots outside there now going along the same lines anything outside of 50 to 60 feet then I'll switch completely over to anodes and ions and uh, that's just because I like the way those fly for approach shots and up shots a lot better but let's get into it guys uh, the soft magnet I've loved this disc for a long time. I'll show you right there. It, when it says soft, this, this thing is soft as hell. And it grabs the chains incredibly well. Um, it's got an amazing grip on it. It's got no bead, or almost no bead. But it fits into the groove of your finger really well. Um, it fits really well for a power grip, for a fan grip. Well, this is my fan grip. But it feels really good there. And for a modified fan grip, it feels pretty good too. But that's my putter, guys. I, like I said, I really like this guy. I love the way it flies. It's always consistent for me. If you're looking for an inside the circle putter, I would definitely say check out a soft magnet. Um, you, I can say you won't be disappointed. Um, there's not much else to say, guys. Uh, in the general scheme of things, I'll give it a four out of five stars. Just because it's not a perfect disc, when it leaves my hand, it doesn't always hit the chains. So uh, work on that soft magnet. Now, as far as driving with a soft magnet, um, it's not something that I do. I'm normally not a person that drives with putters just because it doesn't feel comfortable for me. Uh, but when I do drive with them, they tend to get really flippy. Just like when I'm outside the circle with these guys, they just get really understable and it's hard for me to control them outside. You know, if I'm trying to hit like 200, 250 feet with a putter, it definitely wouldn't be this guy. If I had to do it and that was the only disc I had with me, I'd probably do it with an ion. But these guys are absolutely perfect for me for inside the circle. I'm, I'm really consistent with them and uh, I bet you would be too if you check them out. They're a great disc. So that's it for the soft magnet. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was a little bit informative and let me know what you think about the new review style. The reason I don't have any footage of me out there actually throwing the disc that I'm reviewing is because we're at that time of the year where it's uh, it's getting to be about 20, 25 degrees outside and it's snowing, it's raining, that kind of stuff. And while I'm still out there playing, I don't want to run the risk of my camera being stuck in that kind of weather because uh, I don't want to be stuck without a camera and have to go back to the old one that I was using. That would be a bad situation altogether. So let me, let me know what you think about this whole situation. And um, the last thing I'll say before I close out this video is that tonight at midnight is the last chance for you to enter into the 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, you know, that's going to be the mystery pack and probably it's, that winner's going to be announced either tomorrow or Sunday. And I think when I announce the winner, I'm going to tell you guys what's actually in the pack. All right. 
So that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to go ham.